Hi friends. In this video, we'll connect the Elfender file manager to CK Editor. As you can see, we don't have the browse server button here, which allows us to add images to CK Editor content. Simply go to Google and search for Laravel Elfender. Click on the first link. Make sure we're on the same URL. You should see something like this. To install this package, run this composer command in the terminal. Next, run this command to publish Elfender package assets into the project's public folder. These are the assets the package needs to function properly. Now, publish the Elfender configuration file using this command. We'll need to adjust these Elfender configuration values to fit our needs. Finally, run this command to publish the package's view files into the project's resources folder. As you can see, we now have these view files from the package. We need to edit the CK Editor 4.blade.php file. This package uses jQuery UI, so we need to include the correct links for the jQuery UI CSS and JS files in this blade file. After that, go to the CK Editor configuration file and add the following line to connect Elfender to CK Editor. Let's test it out. As you can see, 
we now have browse server button here. To open Elfender file manager pop-up window, just click on this button. As you can see, after clicking on browse server button, we have now this file manager pop-up window. However, we have an error indicating an invalid backend configuration. To fix this, open the Elfender configuration file. By default, the package uses the storage directory to store files. So, we need to specify our custom directory. Also, create a folder inside the project's public folder with the same name as the directory we added in the Elfender configuration file. Then, run the PHP Artisan Optimize command. Refresh the page using Ctrl plus F5 on your keyboard. Great! We now have this custom folder set as the default directory for Elfender. To upload a file, right-click and select Upload Files. To delete a file, right-click and choose Delete. Let's change the window title. Nice, the window title has been updated. Let's create a new post to test our Elfender file manager. To select a file, simply double-click on it, and it will open in the CK Editor Image Properties pop-up window. Here, you can adjust the width and height of the image. As you can see, the image has been inserted into the CK Editor content. If you want to change this image, just double-click on it and browse for another image. Alright, this is the image I want in my post content. As you can see, we have a success message. Checking the newly created post, we see that the image path is included in the post content. Friends, this is how you integrate Laravel Elfender into CK Editor. See you in the next video.